This reading portion of the agenda, uh, Solomon Gron. I don't believe that is your name, sir. But welcome back to council. All right. Uh, I heard you're running for mayor. <laughs> you have three minutes to speak, sir. You running for mayor? If this is not pertaining no, to- No, it is. I, was just had, I just had it. Yeah. You're running for mayor? All right. Uh, Councilwoman Barossa de Padilla, uh, Councilwoman Green, Councilman Weish, Dayok Howard, you guys can sit this one out. Uh, favor, I was going to put you on that list too, but you've got some signs to clean up. I don't want to bust you up for being a litter bug. Uh, so why I'm up here, right? Like one of my biggest beefs with you guys is like institutionally, uh, when it comes to like building bike lanes or doing like transit or stuff, we start talking about, you know, like we're going to the moon. There's got to be traffic studies. There's got to be public hearings. And, it, you know, I, I realize a lot of this starts at the top with uh, the odious mayor suburbs. And it makes me regret that uh, Mayor Coleman got caught, you know, banging that Chinese spy in his car on FBI wiretap. Uh, but when it comes to like the priorities of this council, it moves so quick when it comes to other things. Like with the resolution, it's taken you guys five months, six months to pass a lukewarm tepid resolution that obviously didn't even satisfy our pro-Palestinian constituents. For what? For what? And now with this crime center, you know, I mean, God bless our first responders, but anytime they come up here with anything, any concern, they snap their fingers and you guys say, how high? And Remy, I know you, you get mad at me when I bang on you for being a Republican. You know, you're gonna get up here and say you're a, a progressive Democrat. But uh, I should have had this up. You know, I want to quote you, like, directly here about this new real-time crime center, which is just some phrase that they made up, and you guys are going to go along with it. When, someone, when somebody gets pulled over and they're, they're calling in a license plate, there will be crime analysts sitting in the real-time crime center, pouring through social media before the police officer even gets out of the car to let them know what type of person they're dealing with. That's a Republican quote, brother. <laughs> There's no other way to put that. That's a Republican quote. And we're going to pay 19 suburbanites to come sit around an office in a neighborhood they don't even have the decency to live in or respect for one more surveillance tool that's going to be enforced against our poorest and our blackest residents. I mean, that, you know, I mean, just think about it when you're in your little signal chats and you're meeting in your backroom deals. It's just, you know, something to keep in mind. And also, lastly, I heard there's a little civil war brewing between you guys and the county commissioners. Now, one thing about me, I'm a lot better pissing inside the tent than on it. So if you guys have any dirt, you know, Kevin Boyce, I can smell the corruption on him, John O'Grady, and to a lesser extent, Eric Crowley, you know where to find me. Thank you, good day.